What's going on everyone? It's RGB Tech back again. In this video, we're going to set up and test the GameHub Fusion emulator on a non-Snapdragon device. Well, obviously, on a Mali GPU. And this is my Galaxy device, powered by the Exynos 1380 with a Mali G68 5-core GPU. It's quite comparable to the MediaTek Dimensity 7300. It comes with 6 GB of RAM and UFS storage. All right, now I'll close everything. As you can see, I've already installed the GameHub emulator on this device. Also in this video, I'm also going to test Grand Theft Auto 5 on this device. I've already copied all the data files, which are pre-installed, and they're taking up almost 80% of this phone's storage. All right, all right. Now let's open the GameHub emulator. Everything is the same as usual, just like we did in our recent video. Simply sign in with your Google account or any other email. Make sure to allow permissions like appear on top, and grant a few other necessary permissions as well. And finally, we're in the Game Hub interface. Again, I'm telling you guys, this interface looks smooth and amazing. And the setup process adding your PC games is the same as usual. Tap on account profile, select game, tap on PC icon, add a game. Here, you'll need to import the game that you copied onto your phone's storage. Let's add GTA 5. Add the game launcher executable. Now confirm. It will automatically update the required drivers like the firmware, DXVK, and others to run these games on your Android device. Just make sure to have an active internet connection to download all the necessary files. And in the same way, you can also import other games. Now let's open GTA 5. Go to Settings, Game Settings. In general, set game resolution. Let's set it to 600p. Direct X HUD is set to simple. Now to compatibility. Here Wine 9.5 layer is already set. In GPU driver, set it to system driver. In DXVK version, set 0.96 version. Here in CPU translator, set box 64 0.32 version or 0.28. That's it. And also in input mapping, make sure to enable it. Both the layouts are already set. You can even customize the current key mapping as well. Now get back. Tap on play now. All right, look at it guys, it started. Finally, we got GTA 5 loading on Mali GPU before GTA 6, but here still the GPU usage is 0%. Only it's utilizing CPU. Also in performance, let's enable frame limit. To 60, yeah, it's more than enough. But still, we can't see the loading screen. All right, wow, look at this guys. It's loaded, but the GPU utilization is still at zero. Well, of course, we all know there are no proper drivers for the Mali GPUs, and it's completely depending on the CPU, with around 30% usage. Like, it's completely glitched with a green screen. It kind of feels like playing GTA 5 with back-end raw rendering. Let's also update the GTA 5 save file for the real-time world rendering. And let's also try to install these both visual C++ libraries. Resolution is set to default 720p. And we're almost getting a stable 10 to 12 FPS. To be honest, I'm quite impressed with this Exynos 1380. It's kind of powerful on a budget. Like, the CPU usage is around 50%. Also, I just want to know, for those of you using Exynos phones with Eclipse GPUs, please let me know. 
Is it working for you, like loading up everything in the game? Because for those who don't know, those GPUs come with AMD's RDNA 2 and 3 architectures on both the Exynos 2200 and 2400, which we've already seen on AMD GPUs. Also, make sure to use the system driver. Okay, if we try to go into the menu, it's crashing, guys. Let's also try with the Grand Theft Auto 4. I'm deleting this game now because we are almost running out of space on this device, as it has only 128 gigs of memory. Now I'll copy this game file to the download folder. And I always do recommend you guys to directly copy pre-installed games to your device. It will be more efficient. Now let's import the game. GPU driver is set to system driver. Set DXVK 1.10.3 or 0 0.96. Well, it's not working, guys. Let's try to change some settings. This time I changed to Proton Layer version. Yeah, still it's getting crashed. I think it's still not optimized for it. I also do recommend you guys to have at least 6 gigs of RAM and a quite powerful processor. To work these things at least maybe in the next future updates. Anyways, that was the complete setup and test of the Game Hub Windows emulator on Android Mali devices. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about this emulator. That's it for today's video. Don't forget to subscribe if you want more tests on this emulator. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.